Hey guys, Sam from Tech Fusions here, and today I'm going to be telling you why the LG G2 is the best phone out there for £350. So let's go straight into this. Now I know the LG G2 has been out a little while since I've done this with you, but it's dropped down in price and I just brought it. It's amazing, and this is why it's amazing and so underrated the LG G2. It's £355 on Amazon and some other shops as well. The links will be down below if you want to buy it after this review, but I'm just going to go straight into it. So why is this phone so good? Well, let's just take a tour around the phone. First thing that hits you straight in the face is the 5.2 inch screen. At 1080p, it is beautiful. It's the best screen I've ever seen on the phone. It's got near to none bezel on the side as well. It just takes up the whole phone and that's what you're going to be looking at. You don't want anything else in the way. With a black phone, it just looks nice. Even when it's turned off, it just looks like all screen. It's amazing. It's a 1080p screen with a pixel density of 424 ppi. That is crazy. But it's a really nice screen and I'm going to say it again, the best screen I've ever seen. Now take your eyes away from this beautiful screen and look to the side of the actual device. Where are the buttons, Sam? Well, they're on the back, and I actually love the buttons being on the back. They're really easy. You've got your fingers just sitting there, as they do, and there's the up and down and the power button, and they're really easy to press. If you don't want to press them, you can just double tap the screen and it unlocks it. And if you swipe down from the toolbar, it's got all the volume controls and everything in there. So it's not a problem. It's just down to your preference if you're going to use them or not. I use them because they're just really easy and nice. These are not the only two factors that make the phone worthwhile. Oh no, it's what's in the inside that counts, as they say. It's got a quad-core Snapdragon 800 quad-core CPU running at 2.26 GHz. If you didn't understand any of that, don't worry. You will see in the videos how fast it is. Basically, it's the newest, the fastest processor out there on the market at the moment. And it's amazing. It does a great job. I can't doubt it at all. It comes with 2GB of RAM, which you should be looking at for any beastly smartphone. If it don't have 2GB of RAM, don't bother going for it. It's just going to help you a lot more in your day-to-day -day uses. It's got 3000 milliamp battery, which will last you forever. More than a day, easily. It lasts me more than a day, and I'm a heavy user. 13 megapixel rear camera with a single LED flash and a 2 megapixel front-facing camera. Standard cameras, they're okay, they're... Just mobile cameras, nothing amazing about them. Other features include NFC, 4G LTE and a micro SIM card slot. All of this in this amazing phone and it only weighs in at 143 grams. So if all them specs were gobbledygook to you, don't worry about that. I'm done with the specs. They're out the window. We're going to go and actually have a look at some footage of the phone. So the main feature is the screen, to be honest. It is amazing. I absolutely love it. Watching YouTube videos, watching YouTube, watching Netflix, um, browsing the web, everything. It's just amazing. Even playing games and with this beautiful screen, you need a powerful processor, and it does. As you can see, it just powers through the application, power through games so fast, um, I don't have anything to doubt about it. And the battery life also lets you play these games for longer. So, yeah, uh, it's got a 3000 milliamp battery, which is more than the standard. Benchmarks on the other end. Benchmarks is if the higher the number, or the higher the rated, the, higher, the better it is, basically. The better the phone is and if you have a look at these benchmarks damn they it's just so fast it just blasts any other phone out there i mean benchmarks can say one thing and performance say another but this phone is really easy to use you can flick through it i actually like the rom some people don't like the rom on the phone i don't know why but they compare it to TouchWiz, but it is good it's got a lot of good features and any user can make it accessible and what they want through this ROM. Now I don't have many bad things to say about this phone but there is one. The speaker isn't the best but it isn't the worst. It's kind of in between so I had the HTC One before and the Beats audio that was amazing but if you ever listen to this audio you can tell it's a bit tinny but I use headphones so it don't really affect me. And the last thing is the plastic body. I mean, it's nothing to get fussed over about. But if it had a metal one, it would look so much better. And it just be, it would be the best selling phone out there. 
Um, I'm not going to lie. If they had better audio and a metal body, it would just sell the phone like hotcakes. This phone is so underrated. This is why I had to make this video for you guys and tell you how much of a beast this phone is. I definitely recommend it. If you're a heavy user on your phone like me, use it all day. You play games, you search the web, you listen to music, watch YouTube videos. This is the phone to get. You won't be disappointed. I absolutely love this phone. And for £350, it's a bargain. Go and buy it now. If you use the link down below, the Amazon link, I do get a couple of pennies for it. So that would be nice if you did use that link. And you can get it one day shipping through Amazon Prime. So it's all good. That's what I did. I saw the phone. I was just like... I'll have to get this next day. What I did, purchased it, came next day. I was so happy with it. Best phone I've ever used. And I will be using this phone for quite a long time. So if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up. Also, if you're new to this channel, please subscribe. And check out the other videos if you like this one. This was Sam Morton from Tech Fusions. Please comment, like, and subscribe. And I'll see you in the next Tech Fusions video.